Democracy freedom with Maryam Rajavi. Democracy freedom with Maryam Rajavi. Let me explain briefly why. The killing of prisoners is the worst of all war crimes. It has been for hundreds of years. The prisoner is utterly at the mercy of the state. The Geneva Conventions, in basis of international law, make it an international crime to kill a prisoner. There have been three since then, since the Second World War, often will be punished. The third, the worst example, came in 1988, when thousands upon thousands of prisoners who were in the first place members of the MEK, then they came for the atheists, for the communists, for the liberals, uh, people who were in prison for their politics were killed monstrously, and this is why this dreadful act has never been punished. You have the worst war crime in modern history. The Minister of Justice was one of the Death Committee judges, Paul Mahoudi, the uh, Ardabili, Nayeri, they're all in high positions. There are 50 or 60 people deeply involved in the bloody slaughter of the innocent prisoners who are now in control of the state. The supreme leader was president at the time. He gave the orders. He is a mass murderer. Rouhani, what was he doing? August till October 1988, he was an assistant of Rafsanjani, who was himself deeply involved. It's time for, President, for, for the Prime Minister Rouhani, uh, who's here, to explain what he was doing. Because the problem is, and the reason why it's appropriate to be here, is that the UN turned a blind eye in 1988 and 1989, it knew. The, the New York Times in September, although the regime tried to cover it up, the New York Times reported the mass graves that were being uh, filled with hundreds of prisoners' bodies. And now we have Iran with the perpetrators of that truck crime still in power, which has more executions comparatively than any other country, which still goes on with brutality, which still has brutality at the heart of the system. So let me finish by saying this. The, what happened in 1988 was a crime against humanity. Crimes against humanity are of a special hideousness. They cannot be forgotten and they cannot be forgiven. There is a duty on the world community represented by the United Nations to take action. Perfectly possible for the UN and the Security Council should do it now, should set up an international ad hoc tribunal like the one in Sierra Leone that I was president of, like the one in Cambodia, to investigate and to punish those who are guilty of the 1988 prison massacres. That is the duty that is on the Security Council. That is the duty now President Rouhani is before it. There must be, for crimes against humanity, there must be a requiting, there must be an investigation, there must be punishment. Thank you.